Hey everybody, I'm in the studio just working out, uh, playing some drums and uh, working on some piano for my uh, new CD coming out this year. And taking some piano lessons as well, some classical music back there if you can see it. Anyway, uh, I want to talk to you today about the first time I saw Terry Bozio, his group play. The group was called Missing Persons. I discovered him because I was studying with a great rock and roll drummer down on the Jersey Shore called Joe Novolo. And he said, you should check out this guy, Terry Bozio. He played with Zappa and he's a great drummer. I said, okay. So uh, I checked him out at this club, on the, not on the Jersey Shore, but in New Jersey, close to New Brunswick, Rutgers University. And uh, I went in there not knowing really what to expect, but I had bought the album just before going to see him, so I knew a couple of songs and kind of the flavor of the music they would be playing, but I had no idea live what it would be like, and it was, it was crazy, it was crazy. Uh, he started off, the craziest thing first was he had his drums like draped, so you couldn't see what he was playing, like a colorful sheet of some kind, you know? Only thing you could see really was a couple of his cymbals which were raised above like the two chinas, I think he had two, I think he was playing pasty back then, pasty, a couple black chinas on each side of the, the kit. That's all you could really see, and him behind the kit. And uh, so they were playing some uh, songs from the CD, which is the, the album rather, it wasn't a CD at that time. It was an album, a couple songs I recognized, one that I really like, I still remember, it's called U.S. Drag. It was a pretty funky song, kind of like a paradiddle groove type group. Type thing. And another song which was funny, had funny lyrics called uh, No One Walks in LA, something like that. That reminded me of Jersey because no one walks in New Jersey. Everyone has a car. So anyway, he proceeded to get down with the get down. I mean, he had it all. He still has it. Back then he had an attitude, you know. That's the one thing about the 80s. I'll talk about that in another video. In the 80s and the late 70s, everybody was playing with attitude, like they had something to prove. Maybe they were playing a little bit too much or on the edge, but man, was it exciting to see. So he was in that mind frame. And I uh, just remember some things he would do would be like um, when he would have a big feel of some kind. He was playing mostly groove, you know, it wasn't like Frank Zappa music, it was more like pop rock, almost like... Um, hard rock in a way, but it was grooving, it was, he was killing it, you know, had a great band, and uh, some things, that, one thing that stuck out to me was that he would stand up and do these fills with this double bass drum, and accent it with the China cymbals, gang gang on each side, and uh, give you the look over the audience like, <laughs> it was wild, he had a serious thing going on, so uh, I don't know if there's any videos from back then, but if you can pull up any videos uh, you would definitely see what I'm talking about. I would love to see it too. So put it on YouTube or something if you find it. But that's my memory of seeing Terry Bozio first play. He was killing it, grooving. And I, I don't think he even had a solo that night. I don't remember. He may have. But I just remember him standing up and playing with the double chinas, the two chinas and the double bass drum accents, and the way he would look at the audience when he would do it. It wasn't cocky or anything, but it was just like, you know, I'm here, you know? I'm here, and this is what it is. So anyway, it was a great uh, evening. Later, later, I did get the chance to meet him at one of the NAM shows. He was very gracious, very humble, just a class guy. So if you ever see him, don't be afraid to approach him because he's really a great guy, and you know he's a hell of a drummer. And now he's doing a lot of the solo drum pieces uh, for master classes and things like that. So. If you get a chance, check him out. He's definitely uh, one of the greats. But Missing Persons, I wish he would come back out and do a tour with that group. It was fantastic. It was killing, man. I think it, one of the guitarists from Frank Zappa as well, Corelli or something like that. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing his name, but he had a great band. Anyway, that's my memory of Terry Bozio and his group Missing Persons. All right. I wish you all the best, peace, love, and happiness. Until next time, see ya. Bye.